back on the plot here. Um, I wanted to do a little film. Uh, and thank you all for subscribing, by the way. It's really nice to get so many subscribers and so many people asking me questions about this. Uh, I hope it's going to be a great help to a lot of people. Um, one thing I suddenly thought was, how do you find out what kind of view you're going to get from your house on the plot um, in the second floor? Uh, or if you have a second floor house, but I mean a third floor house, whatever you have. And I have a small drone, and uh, just a cheap drone, but very easy to use. Again, you can pick up toy drones from from toy stores and from you know hobbyists for 30, 40 pounds, um, which usually connect to your phone, so you're looking through your phone to see what they're seeing and leaves video and photographs on your phone. So I thought, well, if I bring my drone down, I know my house is basically from foundation to roof is about 28 feet. So you've got to reckon that window height, because I'm one, one and a half le floors high, it's going to be about 20 feet. So I'm going to set my drone to 20 feet and then see what aspect I'm going to get from the windows, which also would help me decide, and you can decide in the future, if this bit of advice you could use before you decide how to position your house, because then you can see from the windows, imagine yourself on the second floor, what the actual view is looking out across your land. Let's try that. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about today was dropping the curb. Now this is something you don't really think about when you're going to build a house. Um, and it depends of course where you are building a house. You may not be directly onto a road access, but it's best if you do have direct road access. Um, one of the things you have to consider is, and I'm going to show you now what I mean, there's going to be a curb. So here we see it, here's the curb outside the actual plot itself, which is the pavement running down towards the plot. Now if you're going to build a driveway you have to get permission from your local council to drop this curb, i.e. to get rid of it and to cut across the pavement so you can have your driveway going down onto your plot. Now to do that you need of course to get permission from the council or you could get a approved contractor who does that kind of work. So that's really what you need to find. You need to find a council approved contractor who will do the work. Now you can apply to the council to get the uh, curb dropped or the contractor can is going to ch will charge us 150 pounds to do the proper application to the council. Which is probably wise because he'll know exactly what to ask for and exactly what to get approved for and they know him so he'll get approved. Now I say we because luckily in my case as you know plot one and plot two um, we're both doing downward houses and in the planning that I've done which I'll show you now we have arranged for the driveways to be kind of overlapping which means that we are basically getting a two job for the price of one not really quite but it's going to save us a few hundred a few hundred dollars each because we're going to have an area on this on the uh, on the pavement which is both our driveways have to be dropped um, so if you can do that with your if you do have another person who's building next to you that's a really wise thing to do I'll show you again what I mean so for example in our case my driveway is going to go right on the corner of my plot this end going down and their driveway is going to go from this corner here going down into their plot so this section in the middle is going to be a shared dropping of the curb. So if you can somehow correspond or tie up with the person, if you are doing plots who are side by side, so you can share with the but you have to do it in the design process before application, before before planning application, you have to decide to place your driveway in such a way that you can share 
the curb drop. Fascinating.